Hello and welcome to my Learn Worlds course example. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a course with Learn Worlds. And there's two things I want to bring up before I begin. First and foremost, there are a lot of little features that come along with the process of creating a course. So I'm not going to go through all of them. Rather, instead, I'm going to show you kind of like the bare bones, how you can upload your course, what you can add to it, and so on and so forth. And from there, I will do separate videos that talk about separate micro features when it comes to creating your course. And the other thing is that Learn Worlds comes with a free trial. So if you want to check them out, I will leave a link down below in the description. And if you click that, you can actually get a 30 day free trial, which is always a good thing. So in your platform, once you are logged in, there's going to be a section where you can create a course right there. And that's where it's going to bring us right here. I'm just going to call this Affiliate Blueprint. Every time I go to utilize any type of software or platform for uploading courses, I do this one because I have all the videos here. It makes my life easier. So that's going to be the title. Let's click on next. Okay, that's gonna be our URL or slug, looks good. What we have here, we can select the access type of your course, whether it's paid, drafts coming soon, free or private. Paid sounds good, let's click on next. All right, so here's gonna be the price just off the top of my head. Let's say it's going to be 77. If we wanna offer a discount, we can click on this. If you like, you can set a discounted price, which is optional. A good discount always puts some extra pressure on a potential customer. However, you don't want to overdo it and undervalue your product. So say it was like a $10 discount. We're looking at 67 now. Click on next. Up next is going to be uploading a course. I don't have the actual uh, logo and stuff of mine, so I just got a different one on Unsplash. I am going to upload that very quickly. All right, so there it is. I'm going to click on insert image. Looks good. Description. Yeah, I just said that's going to help you get started with affiliate marketing. Probably want to do a better description than that. Just an example, of course. So add that based upon what you're going to be selling here. Next. And of course, if you want to drip feed it, as it says, you can always revisit this and change it later. So if you do on, you can drip by days or drip by date up to you. I'm just going to keep it off so that when someone, say, makes a purchase, they get everything all at once and finish. Okay, so we have our layout, we have our content, we have access, pricing, settings, course player, video library, and dashboard. So I'm going to go to video library here just to show you this. I did upload these already. These are going to be some of the videos I use. All you would need to do is simply go to add video and you can add them in there. Of course, it's going to need to take a few seconds to kind of buffer and encode. Once that's going to be ready, if you have videos you want to utilize, you can put those in these specific sections. So for mostly in this, I'm going to go with the contents here. This is where we can pretty much start building out our course with our sections and of course the lessons within each all of them so let's click on add section here we're just going to call this the intro duction i'm going to copy this you know description you can you know put that there if you want let's do paid this is going to be accessible only to users who have purchased the course so that's probably what we're going to want to do if you plan on doing a paid course and let's click on save Okay, and there we have it. That's going to be our main section. Now, when you're thinking about it, if you don't have your course done already, or maybe you do, sections are going to be pretty obvious. So for example, if your course is kind of laid out in steps, you'd have your intro where maybe you talk about it, what's going on. Next one would be the first step. So say if you were talking about creating Facebook ads, you would talk about the first step doing research. Next is going to be, you know, creating your uh, landing page or something. And then next is going to be creating your actual Facebook ads and then sending traffic to it and then scaling. So something like that. Okay, so with this one, let's do add activity. And this is where we can choose from a lot of the different types of multimedia that we can utilize. So you have video, ebook, PDF, SCORM slash HTML5 package, audio, YouTube, and of course, SoundCloud. So you could always use YouTube if you want, but for this, I'm gonna go with video. And let's just call this the introduction. I'm gonna do save. Now let's go to settings. And this is where we can utilize one of the videos that we have in our uh, video library. That's why I added them previously so we wouldn't have to wait, but you can do from Vimeo, from Wistia, or from school video. So let's click on this right here and let's do the introduction one. Okay, so that's gonna be there. Digital downloads if you want, learning activity background image, uh, password protect access and completion rule if you have a much higher up plan if you wanna utilize that. So let's just say, Here's where I talk about what is in this course. Let's click on save. Okay, and so what we can actually do now is if we go to preview course player, let's, uh, I think it's gonna autoplay, so let's. Hey, it's James Kanzen, and thank you so much for picking up my affiliate marketing course. Okay, so there we go. That's gonna be the first section. As you can see right here, that's gonna be introduction. And as we add a little bit more, there's gonna be more sections there. So let's close that out. Okay, next section. We're going to be doing the same thing. So let's call this. Okay. And once again, this is going to be paid and I'm just putting a quick section description here. You can make that a little bit better yourself, of course. And of course we want to do ad activity. Once again, let's do video. Let's do the affiliate blueprint explained save. 
and settings. And once again, I have a video in here that I believe is called that. There we go. Forgot about the description so very quickly. Okay. And let's scroll down and click save. Okay, let's say we want to add more. Let's add activity. Let's go to video again. And I forgot, let's say what the name of the video was. So let's just do, you know, change. We can change it later, right? So save and edit. And for this one, let's just say like the power of affiliate marketing. There we go. So the power of affiliate marketing. I'm just going to quickly put this in here. You know what to put for the description, of course, when you have your uh, product there. Let's click on save. And what we can do is remember like this was video number two. We can actually just move it up a little. There we go. I believe we had one more. So let's do add activity video again and change because I don't remember the name of the video that's going to be here. So save and edit. And of course, when we go here, I think it was three done for you niche selection. So let's change this here. Okay. Perfect. And save. And this one is going to be going right here. So, okay, let's just say we wanted to do something else aside from adding a video. What we can also do is say like an ebook or a PDF, if we have a file. So let's say we wanted to do that. Let's just do like PDF overview, save and edit. And of course pages, let's just say one, <laughs> okay. Let's do the, uh, we have our icon and this is gonna be our digital download. See where it shows up. What I'm gonna do is just create one very quickly and then upload it. So give me one second. All right, there we go. So we have the AB blueprint. Once again, there's some background stuff going on, very similar to when we had a video before. And that looks good. Like I said, there's a lot of other activities here that we can utilize. I will do separate videos for those because those can go into a deeper detail, I guess you could say. Like I said, this is more so the overview of just adding to your content. So if I go to preview course player right here, of course it is, and it returns from where it was. So as you can see here, we have our videos. Welcome to the first lesson, which is going. Okay, it's going to talk over me. All right, hello and and of course we're going to have our PDF file, but I think it's still getting ready. Yeah, so the learning material is being prepared right now. Not a big deal, but that's where that would be. And overall, that's kind of a quick overview of how you can set up your course using Learn Worlds, where everything's going to be in the left side here. We have Path, we have Learners, and of course we have Discuss. There's going to be some other things there. So if you want to type your message, share images, or ask questions, that's something you can utilize as well. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Like I said, I'll be doing plenty more videos that talks more about these specifics of each section so that you can make even more edits when you're obviously uploading your course. But I hope that this tutorial will at least help you to kind of get up and running, give you a good idea of what Learn Worlds has to offer when creating your course. Lastly, if you want to check them out, the link for the free trial will be down below in the description. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.